Okay, my name's Doug, and uh, this is my son, Eddie. He's here with the bees uh, this afternoon. This is Japan. They seem to be the most active of the colonies. And what we're doing right now is we're spreading out the canvas, which is going to help us do the tearing off board. The tearing off board, you can see it there. Um, I've got little arrows marked on it, and it has a little purple foam thing at the top. None of those details are any importance. Uh, the only thing that matters is the location of that board in relationship to the hive. And you'll see how we work that in just a minute, but it's a way to get the colony to split themselves into two pieces. So if this works, we're gonna have, instead of just Japan and Denmark over there, we're gonna have a third colony be larva on all of them and honey. I'm sure. Hey, you want me to budget? Abortion. You can't really see from here. I'm going to back this up a little bit more. Ow! <laughs> Bumped my head. Okay. These move up. They're going to have to jump or stay. The rest of this clip, I'm uh, just looking for the queen. And so I sit there for several minutes, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, but I, did, I didn't find her yet. And uh, you'll hear it here in just a minute when I did find her. I always do the Soviet experiment didn't work, like many Soviet experiments. Um, the Terranoff? Yeah. The, I, I don't think we could say it didn't work. Let's just wait. The entrance to the hive used to be right here on the front, and I've, I've messed up and put it on the back, and I've got to fix that.
So they're forming up a swarm there. And what I've got to do is I've got to get that hive up there ready for them. That's her. It's the queen. Let's look closely and watch. You see that big fat bee in the middle? She's a little shinier. She's not that much bigger. Her abdomen is the biggest part of her. She's pretty much in the center of that group of bees. I don't know if you can see that. Just sit there and watch this group of bees. This is rough. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go get a queen catcher. See this little invention here. This gives me control. Yeah, I remember that. We like just did of the queen. I, I got know. a little catching jaws here, and I'm going to catch her. I'm just going yeah, to. This this about this one. Look, look, look. Yeah, look. Oh, yeah. I'll tell them. Is she in there? Yeah. Like she's, she's right cells? here. Grew up bees. Like a colony. There she is. Okay. She's right in there. And I've got her now. So what I've done is I picked her up and the queen is over there in Mexico. Huh? It's an open, yeah. open hive right now. And uh, yeah. what I will show you what I've done. Oh, I don't know. Because he had a brother. The rest of these again. So looking inside there, we see there's the queen and she has her attendants. And they're looking around to see if this is a good place to live. And hopefully that they can decide that it is a good place to live. Because I'm about to put the rest of them in there. Let's get some of these bees and take them over there. You think they'll sting me? But I can do it. I can do both. Look, should I just bring this up? Okay. Okay. Should I get another handful? Yeah, grab another handful of bees. Well, yeah. That was awesome, wasn't it? Uh huh. It feels so cool. You want to try it? Uh. <laughs> try it. Try it. <laughs> just like stick your hand in there. Hold on. Oh. Here. Oh crap, did you get bit? Stung? Stung is the word. Ah. Ouch. Ow. But not on your hand that you're... It was on this hand. Oh, well, yeah. But as in... Yeah, you gotta kind of not react that way. I, uh, I uh, should have been a little more mellow. Well... I should have been recording on the first one. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> hey, it's what happened, right? Right. So, careful right here. There's a group of bees that have fallen onto the ground. Okay. So, okay. You try it, Hobbitito. Okay. Should I try it? Are you going to try it? Okay. Gently. I don't want to get bitten. Well, they do sting sometimes. Maybe just use the one hand. I, I put the other hand in and that's where I get stung, but... Oh, 
Slowly, slowly. Ah! No, no, no. Look, she's trying to bite she's already. Still, no, no, no. It, it, they feel like insects crawling on you, but they're not aggressive. They're not trying to. Ah! Just kind of scoop. No swearing, this is going on YouTube. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Ray. Okay, just take a handful, grab them. There you go. You got them. Now bring them up here. Oh, crap. No, no, it's okay. Just walk gently. And just put them on in. And then they, they stick to you, so you gotta kind of shake, shake, shake. You never get mad when you shake? No. Shake them off. Shake. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> They're going up my arm. Shake. Shake them off. There you go. Give it, give it a good, give it a good shake. There you go. Uh, not out of here. <laughs> oh wow, that was pretty thrilling. <laughs> mm. Do you want to try when you come here? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> but, uh, they can't leave without the queen, so. Or they won't. This is like you're in the abdomen. Yeah, yeah, so they're. They have different fathers. Sometimes. Yeah, a, a noob here. Just relax and enjoy the sensation. Flying around now because I've knocked them off. But most of them have fallen down in there now. If you see, if you look down in there, you'll see that they're starting to kind of spread themselves out in the hive itself, colonizing. <laughs> So to speak, if you will. So I'm going to see if I can gentle than my fingers, I don't know. Motion is detected. We're going to pick up the rest of the bees on the canvas. Okay, so here I am in my cool guy sunglasses, and uh, here are the bees that are left on the board. And there's just a few of them that did get stung. And uh, my finger, you can see, is kind of starting to swell up. <laughs> oh well. So, time to go to dinner. We get back from dinner. Uh, probably these guys will be um, inside the hive. So it's the next day after we did the tear off split. I've got my uh, suit back on. I'm just heading out here to look and release that queen and uh, look in and see how things are going with the new colony of Mexico. I'm going to try to do this one handed because I don't really have time to sit up there. So 
during this part, I'm by myself because Eddie had to leave. And um, I'm trying to film while I'm doing what I'm doing, but it's not working very well. What I did is I opened up the hive, and then I uh, reached in, and I took that little cage out that the queen was in. And I opened it up and dropped her into the hive there. And then uh, you can see me kind of shaking the other bees out of it because some of them were jammed into the little slots that it has on the side. And now it's, it's um, designed that way so that they can reach the queen and give her nourishment while she's trapped in there. And so they take care of her. And, but some of them got themselves, some of the workers got themselves stuck in that little cage. And I actually used my tool and actually pried one of them out of there without even hurting her. So I was pretty amazed by that. And then I put the rest of the frames in so that there was just a bee space in the top box of the hive and uh, took away that queen cage and put it away. I'll use it again another time. And then uh, closed up the hive and uh, it seemed to work pretty well. The hive is not as active as the other two colonies, but it seems uh, like it's gonna work. Thanks for watching.